Hey everyone, welcome to Bill Cund of Tech. Today, we're going to be going over your 401k. You may have just gotten a corporate job or you're out of college and then this is the first time you've been offered one. What do you do with it? What are the taxes? What do the weird words mean that they put on your signing letter and in your HR department? We're going to be going over all of that in this video, so stay tuned. Getting started, we need to go over what is a 401k. And you could think of this as a place to put your money until you're ready to retire. By the government standards, that's 59 and a half years old. I have absolutely no clue why they determined that 59 and a half years old was the age of retirement and like to play by elementary school age grade rules where you say you're six and a half, so you're older than the six year olds. Um, but I digress. Once you turn the age of 59 and a half, you're able to take the money out of these accounts without any penalties. But you may be like, whoa, 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 hold on. Why would I put my money in an account where I would have to wait till I'm 59 and a half to take it out? And if I want it before, they're going to charge me a penalty. That's because you get a lot of benefits for doing this. And here's some examples. Your employer is going to set up multiple accounts that you can put the, your money into in this 401k. The two main ones are the pre-tax 401k, which is known as the traditional 401k, and the Roth 401k. I'll be going to each of these in detail to know which one's best for you, but I'll tell you if you're young and you're not making too much money, there's one clear winner in my opinion. So once you have your money in these accounts, it will sit in there, grow, invest in the specific indexes or target date funds that you put it in until you're ready to retire and there's your money for when you're ready to go on some cruise ships vacation and have some fun first i'll go over the traditional or pre-tax 401k in this account you're actually going to be able to use the money that you put into this account initially to be a tax write-off so if you're able to contribute around eight thousand dollars this year into your traditional 401k you're going to be able to tax write off $8,000 from your income tax this year. Now that may sound amazing. And I know for me, sounds great. However, what you're missing is the potential in the Roth. With the traditional, you're going to be taxed on all of your principal plus all of your profits. So when you go to retire at age of 60, you'll be getting taxed on everything you take out. Now that tax is based on your income at that time. So if you're 60 years old making $100,000, then your tax, say relatively, is going to be 30% on all the money that you're taking out of there. Now, here's the catch. See, when you're 59 and a half years old, that's a long way down the line in the future. So what is going to be the taxes? We have no clue. And that's the danger about the traditional, is that down the line, we don't know if taxes will drop or raise and to bet on that is a dangerous play, and that's why you may look to the Roth as a possible option to get out of that. So with the Roth 401k, you're going to be paying taxes on your initial investment. So say if you want to throw some money in there, you're going to pay initial taxes on that based on your income tax. And then once you're ready to take the money out at 59 and a half or above, then you're paying no taxes on that. So all of the money in your account is going to be yours to keep. That means you'll have a lower initial investment because you'll have to pay taxes and you may not be able to invest as much because you're paying some to the IRS. But when you take it out, you're able to plan so well because you know exactly how much money you have for retirement and how you can use that. Now, if you're young and you're just getting started making a low income, this is perfect for you because in the future, you're probably going to be making more money than you are now. Not only through inflation, but just because you'll be advancing your career and probably making more money. Why not take the lower tax hit now to save yourself headaches in the future? That's the greatest part about the Roth, but I know it sounds too good to be true, so there is a catch. With the Roth 401k, you're only able to invest $19,500. That's the 2021 cap. That means you can't go over. If you want to go over, that's going to have to roll over into a traditional 401k. There is a limit on this, but while you're just starting out, you're probably not even going to reach that limit because that's going to be a huge portion of your income. And you may not be able to pay that if you're doing rent 
or you have other expenditures? This is another big question that I get a lot and it's based on the company match. I just want to get this started and put out of the way. If you don't take your company match, you are losing out because it's practically free money. Your company is paying you to invest in this 401k. They want you to succeed and be able to retire with money. In your offer letter, you probably got some wording like this, where the employer will match 50% of the employee's contributions up to 6% of their salary. And you may be like, oh geez, I don't really know what that means. How much money am I actually getting in my pocket? So let's take a look at what they mean by that. So say if they say we'll match up to 6% of your salary. So take your salary, times that by 6% and then look at the second part of it where it's we match 50% of the employee's contributions. Take whatever is left after that 6% and then times that by 50%. And that's going to be how much money the company is willing to pay you per year to invest in your 401k. For example, if you were making $50,000, and that same lettering was on there, or they said we'll pay you 50 cents on the dollar for every dollar that you contribute upwards to 6%. That's the same thing as saying 50% of the employee's contributions. So what's going to happen is $50,000, you're going to times that by 0 0.06, times that by 0 0.05, and that's going to be how much you're going to make this year from your employer to invest in your 401k. Now that's probably going to be spanned out throughout all of the paychecks you get. So say if you get paid bi-weekly, then divide that number by 26. So there is 52 weeks in the year, divide that by two, that's where you get your 26. And that's how much you'll be getting paid in your paycheck more than you are now that's going directly into that 401k. Now there's a caveat. All the money that your company pays into your 401k is going directly into a traditional 401k. So not your Roth 401k even if you put your contributions as your Roth 401k. And remember when I said with your traditional 401k, how you get a tax benefit if you put money into it? That's why it's such a good deal for the employer and why they incentivize it is because they're actually going to take that tax benefit and write that off on their own books so you do not get the tax benefit. But what you do get is hard earned cash into your pocket. So take that and be happy with it. Let's draw up a hypothetical. Say if you're making $100,000 a year and you want to max out your Roth IRA as well as get all your contributions. If you're going to max out your Roth IRA with $100,000, you're going to have to contribute 19.5% of your entire income and that's going to be post-tax because you're going to have to pay taxes on that income because it's Roth. Then you're going to meet your max contribution to get that max. Don't worry about that. So what you're going to end up with in your 401k at the end of the year is actually the $19,500 plus the $3,000 from your employer that they paid you to invest in the 401k and all the gains you made throughout that year. We're going to get into what you should actually be investing in in your 401k to give you the most profits, but that'll be in a new video. And I wanted to say I'm not a financial advisor. You should speak to someone or do your own research about each of these topics to know what is exactly right for you if you want more details on any of this. I'm someone that loves personal finance and doing this for my friends and family, I thought I would bring it to you as well. Take this information, look at your 401k, see what you can do to improve on it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'm happy to help anyone. If you want to DM me on any of my social medias, please feel free to do that as well. And I'm here to help you and let's make sure at the end of this when you retire that you got some good money in your pocket and a good nest egg to keep you going forward i'll talk to you all later